Hi. You might wonder right now why am I wearing a shirt that says Eden Nielsen? She's a great bass player. She actually played for Prince at some point. You should uh, make a search and check her out. She's a great funky bass player. And say hello to the dead sheep. And uh, today I'd like to talk a bit about my third, fourth or fifth iteration of my video gear. I use Fujifilm cameras, as you might know already. And I have tried to develop the setup of my X-T2 video rig so it would work well for everywhere I go and I really try to make it as compact as possible and as functional as possible. So I'd like to show it to you. These headphones are for a particular use to hear what you're doing. Uh, I wanted my rig to be able to fit in a in a nice little rucksack um, backpack so I could uh, walk around in mountains and stuff, so I have my arms, arms free. <clears throat> but in this, I actually have the whole gear. It's possible to have down here. Right now I have a, a pretty small uh, 50 millimeter uh, lens on it and also a five inch monitor. And now I'll take away the back. Here goes. So this is as far as I, got right now. I'll just put it back together. The reason why I use a cold shoe for the monitor and haven't screwed it in place is because I have to take it off to make space for it in this uh, backpack. And I have to put this in. You have to be really careful about the HDMI switches and the plugs in uh, these cameras because if you're too hardcore with them you can just push them inside the the housing and that's bad but this is it it is a small rig cage and why I wanted a cage is because when you put up a monitor which has changed my video the small HD monitor it's a small HD focus I can highly recommend this uh, monitor for everybody who uses small rigs because the five and a half inch monitor just makes everything much easier uh, the reason why I use this huge uh, microphone is because it sounds good. It's a Sennheiser microphone, I think. It's called something 440. It's a stereo mic. I have tried to talk to a Danish producer of uh, microphones to get him in play of making uh, microphones for small setups. I'll continue trying that because I think they would make, they would change everything if they did. You know who you are. And. The whole uh, cage makes it much more stable. I actually chose to take off the follow focus because with this small rig I, I can have a hand free because I can hold the handle and focus without any shake. This makes it really stable and the handle up here makes it possible to make low shots without too much shake. Actually you can do it actually pretty much without shake because it's sort of a, a weight stabilizer because all the weight's down here and if you hold it up here you it sort of stabilizes itself and that's also why it is, it is um, necessary to sort of keep the weight as much in the middle as possible so it won't slant when you hold the handle as it is now I have to slant it a bit but but this works really well so a shout out to Small Rick, who is the tilter for the poor people. It is actually not that expensive to buy this. And uh, the rest I sort of made out of stuff I had laying around. The Small HD uh, courtesy of Goga in Denmark is just, it was just a revelation. It has great helper features in it, uh, but I rarely use all of them. Uh, I use an overlay and a, f a um, focus peaking which is not the color one but I also use the color one if it's really difficult to see. So this is a quick overview of this small rig. Also uh, got this, uh, what is this, a strap 
from the United States. They, they sent me and I really like it because it's easy to snap off and the ends are really small. Um, it is actually a company called Simpler. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, the good thing about having it here is you can actually stabilize with it if you have the camera out like this and you can also shorten the strap so you get it in here uh, and also as a, a safety precaution if you drop the camera but you can also take it off and that is pretty handy because these small um, connectors and now I can't forget to get it off with my fat fingers just a moment it's pretty easy actually if I don't want it if I put it on a tripod I don't want this on so it goes in the back Another thing I'd like to show you, I often use uh, the 24mm Samyang until something better comes around. And it has uh, this Genus Tech uh, rubber, uh, what do you call it, uh, lens hood, which is great if you put it on a wide angle lens as well, you can just push it back a little. But you can also get to the variable ND filter which I use a lot. It's much easier than changing ND filters and they're pretty good. What is this one called? It is called Heliopan. To me these are the best. They, I like the way they sort of color the image. They don't do it much but, it's, but it does a little. And there's another little feature that is really smart. If I go indoors I can just pop this off. It's magnetic. It's made by Manfrotto who makes these this is courtesy of a click in, in Svendborg at Fyn in Denmark who sent me this to check it out and it's really uh, really nice. Only thing is that uh, my ND filter is a bit tight so sometimes you have to sort of grab it before you can turn it. And uh, that is pretty much it. This is really super quick um, look at my rig as it has become right now. And it goes easily in my backpack. That's it. See you later.